Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, namaste, hajime mashte, ni hao, assalamu alaikum, everybody out there on the internet, welcome to, um, Chai with Tekken for May 2021, 2021, um, so yeah, Chai with is, uh, if you don't know, is basically three things, so, videos I'm working on for the channel, changes to stuff on the channel, IRL stuff. Um, <laughs> under videos I'm working on, there's subcategories, playthroughs and streams, vlogs, DIY do-it-yourself stuff, how-tos and other stuff I might be making for the channel. And then the other two categories don't have subcategories because they are things that happened or didn't. And, you know, <clears throat> anecdotes and aside sprinkled in because I can't help myself from aimlessly going off topic. Kind of tired because I just woke up some a bit, you know, Gragging out of it, but I wanted to like record this because I've got a lot of stuff to do. Well, not stuff to do, but like I have a day in the Mandreville Gold Saucer planned for myself in Final Fantasy 14. So, you know, I kind of like want to get this done so I can go play that. And yeah, I I was going to like do China Tekken inside Final Fantasy 14. Like, I've done that before, I think, in Destiny or Destiny 2, where I just like recorded myself talking as I played the game, and I was just like, man, this game's so awesome, because I'm just, like, really into it, like, it's, I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, it, like, everything people say about it being great is true, it is amazing, if you've, uh, heard anybody talk about it, and, like, just, just, like, the story of that game, dude, and, like, how, like, 1.0 was, like, a disaster, and then they, like, built a Realm Reborn in parallel while that game was, like, in support, but then they killed it, and then they, like, released a Realm Reborn, and it's been, like, just you know looking back but oh it's, it's just, yeah it's it's pretty i it yeah i i myself i don't know if i said this last time i probably did i don't i don't remember what i said last time but because i because i think i just started playing it right like in may so what wait when it, wait 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 hold on when did i wait no april right because the beta yeah okay i'm i'm tripping but yeah dude um, so I did end up, I did end, I did end up, wow, calm down, guys. <laughs> I did end up, uh, getting a subscription. My, one of my friends referred me, so I got the sweet 25%, um, EXP boost heads, or, or headband in the game. So that, that really helped. Like, uh, and I pre ordered Endwalker, so I've got the earrings. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, and then there's like the new, or not the new, but like when you do your, um, the smith gives you the thing for the tutorial thing, and then you do it, I can't think of what it's called right now, the, uh, something something <laughs> trial, and then like you get the 30% boost on that, so I've got like a, I had like a ton of EXP boosting on my characters, um, well that I didn't have before, right, because I had like, I had, before I had the ring from like the trial thing. But then I didn't have the headband or the earrings. I feel like, it, you know, it's like, it's like I, I can definitely like feel it in like working. Because before, I don't know, it's like I didn't feel like I was like struggling to get like EXP or whatever. But like now it just means it, it just feels faster. Because like I got all my characters 25 like pretty quick. And, I, and then like I like had a system where I was just like rotating through all of them. All, I'm sorry, not characters. I'm, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to have you do not you do not want to run multiple characters in this game. I had all the classes and jobs, right? Like I was going through all of them. Getting them up pretty fast. And so I had a, a system in place, um and I was like leveling up my squadron command team so I could like run it, run those. And I finally like it's like it's like it all worked out. I was I it's pretty it's really funny too, because I was looking up I was like looking, I was looking up so many videos on YouTube and like guides. And then like I saw like, you know, optimal way to like level and so what i was doing was um like while i was getting all my characters like ready for that i'm sorry classes and jobs <laughs> i was just like building my command squadron team and just like leveling them because you have to like get them leveled up before you can take them on command missions they have to be like level 20 or wait no it's got to be over 20 right because i think the first dungeon's level 20 but maybe it's 20 but then it's whatever, dude. Basically, it's like 20 is like the floor, but it's the ceiling for like 
you know, uh, like the content you can play in that to like get leveled up is 60. So it's like you can go from 20 to 60 in there. Um, but I don't know. I wasn't running dungeons, was I? I, w I wasn't running dungeons with the command. I feel like I wasn't running dungeons with the command squadrons until I was was 30, but I I might be wrong. Because I did a lot of um, Halatali. Or not a lot, of, a lot. I did it once. Never mind. This is level 20. I'm tripping. Yeah. Okay, so 20. 20 to 30 was super fast because I, d I had to do like the first dungeon once and then most of my characters got to like 26 and then like the which makes the head ban irrelevant useless and obsolete but then it's like it's cool because I was, I was curious like if I took off one of the XP boosting items could I still get through and like get my characters leveled up just as fast and yes I mean that being said I'm in a free company that has like the XP boosting thing on and then I also am eating the boiled egg to get the three per three percent XP boost, so it's like I'm 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 always making sure I've got like the XP boosting stuff on. Anywho, long story short, currently all my characters are level thirty five. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on every job in class, I'm level thirty five, and then like on my main ones, um, monk, ninja, machinist, DPS specifically, because you know that's that's why that's why I prefer to play. Those are like, I got three of the sixties. I mean, if you don't count the dancer and the gun breaker or gun, 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 <laughs> gun blader, whatever they're called, um, because they 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 start out at sixty, right? So it's like them. What the, like, there's like three sixty classes, isn't there, or just two? I think it's just the gun breaker and the dancer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. So it's like you have. I, hold up, let me load the game up because it's like I need it in front of me to have like a visual reference. But um. For like the menu, I guess I could load up my. I've got, got my PS5 on, so it's like I always like you know. Anyway, I got this thing right here. Okay, cool. It's got the job list. Um, okay, so there's like what four tanking classes, three healing classes, and then the rest of the classes are DPS, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, you got eleven DPS classes, four tank classes, three healing classes. So it's like. Anyway, you have, like, way more DPS classes than, like, the other two, so... And then the expansion, we're getting Reaper, so 12. And then you get, like, one... The Sage, which is a healer, so you've basically got... <laughs> three times as many DPS classes as you do tanks and healers, which is interesting. And it makes sense, like, why, you know, if you're in a queue waiting, why, uh... It's basically instant queue with healers, because there's not as many tanks. I mean, it's not that there's not a lot of tanks, it's just, you know... Who wants, to, who wants to play healer? It's like it's such a like support role. It's not. I mean, it's really cool though. Like ha after having like leveled all these characters, or I'm sorry, I keep saying characters and jobs inter interchangeably. I'm tired and I'm sorry, but it's like I, that's a mistake and I need to stop it. But it's like I'm tired, so I'm sorry. Playing through all the different classes and jobs, it's really cool to see like you know the similarities, but then like also the differences between them, like all the different um. Like if we go to like this, this the traits and whatever, whatever, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. But like when you go to your character menu and it's got like the key key stats and traits or the traits and skills or whatever that, where you can like you know put when it, like, where you go to like look at your your like abilities, and then like put them on the hot bar and all that stuff. It's cool to see like all the roll abilities are like you know some of them are the same, but then sometimes or like they're not all the same like. All the DPS class, all the DPS classes don't have the same roll abilities, but then some do, and then all their like you know all their spe like class specific stuff is different enough, or it's just like it's sometimes similar, but then it's like, or they all play similar styles, but it's like so like there's there's enough minutia between the classes where it's like they don't all play the same, which is like just just man, I just appreciate this game so much because it's like. It's like it's it's it reminds me of Monster Hunter because you know you've got all the different um, weapon types and they all play completely different. So it's like it's basically like that. It's like essentially if someone made a Monster Hunter MMO and like you could take one of the weapon types, but then like they didn't level up in parallel. So it's like you didn't or like your it wasn't tied to your hunter rank in your in your uh, master rank or whatever. So it's like you don't you don't get to like keep like your your one level and like carried across every type of weapon so it's like essentially it's like the reverse of that where it's like you have to level up each weapon type um 
but yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. So, um, but it, it's funny because I started out as a monk, right, or pugilist. That's the other neat thing is how you have the uh, the classes that turn into like the job specialization, and then like tra- it's like it's it's really cool if you're like a fan of Final Fantasy, because it's like traditionally I've always been like a fan of the games where you have like jobs and you can just like switch and just like you know I'm gonna be a lancer, I'm gonna be a or a dragoon, or I'm going to be a samurai, I'm going to be a ninja, I'm going to be a monk, I'm going to be a, like, you know, a summoner, and all that stuff. But, like, tactic, tactics is, like, one of my favorites, so it's, like, the fact that this is in there, and it's, and it's, it's, like, I love that, and then I love how, like, the armor is, like, different, you know, across the classes, and you can, like, be in the world playing, and, like, see other people, and be like, oh, that's a, you know, that's a dragoon, that's a black mage, that's a white mage, that's a dark knight, it's, it's really cool. It's it's pretty awesome. Also, I think the tanks have like the most um, the most uh like the most differences in between them in like that specific subgroup. Cause man, I played dark. I had not played Dark Knight because you start at level thirty, so I hadn't touched it until I was leveling up my my everything else through the command thing. And then like when I used um, was it Soul Eater? Yes, the Soul Eater Soul Eater ability, dude. And you get HP back. I was like, "What? Why would I play any other tank class when I get HP back in my flipping like, you know, trio of attacks?" Because that's another thing that's kind of cool on a lot of the um, damage classes is uh, or at least the the melee DPS, not so much the range DPS, but then the the bard is kind of like this. Actually, never mind. The machinist is like it too. Maybe the dancers. I haven't played them, but like, because they started at sixty, so I haven't touched it. <laughs> I love how I'm just like talking, and like in my brain, I'm talking as I'm talking. I'm like, I probably should have said this before I started, but like, the goal at the end of this all is to get them all to sixty, and then go back into the MSQ, and then get back to like, and then like you know, push forward because, um, like I said, I can only I can only use a squadron command thingy up to 60 so I got everybody up to 35 right now and that's pretty good wow I'm sorry that that mic pop I don't have a filter I heard that my ears ouch sorry <laughs> that's pretty good and like I think that was just like a week I've been, I've been doing this so it's like I went from like 20 to 35 so that's 15 I mean cumulatively I've just like gotten so many like when I can't like, when I think of like how many levels I've gained if I like add it up per class it's like dude I've like just got like so much done and it's like I think I can hit 60, and, like, hopefully by the end of the month. And then I didn't know this because it, the game doesn't tell you, but, like, after doing all this research, like, looking stuff up as I was playing, you get, like, a 90-day buff on your XP boosting. So mine runs out in July, I think. Because I think it counts from when you create your character, and I created mine in the beta, so that was in, that was in April. May, June, July. So, like, July 15th. Um... Or also, if you go to Moogle Station and you look up your first achievement, it's probably the first day that you started your account, and I looked it up, so it's it's like the middle of May, or April, or <laughs> May, June, July, middle of April. I keep forgetting like when the beta was. Anyway, <laughs> I keep forgetting how long I've been playing this. So, um, because that's like a, a like a temporary thing, that's basically why I'm like I'm like specifically playing just Final Fantasy fourteen right now. So it's like I probably won't come back to anything else while I'm doing this. I mean, I will still play other things. Like, I've been playing Fall Guys and golf. Uh, you know, Mass Effect, I've sat, I've, sat, I've sat to the side. I mean, there's more to, like, there's more to, like, Mass Effect, though, because it's, like, I'm about to do Sir Kesh and that arc every time I tear up, and it's just, like, I don't want to go through that right now. <laughs> it's, like, I'm really enjoying Fall Guys 14. Things are, things are good. You know, Biden's in. <laughs> it's, like, things are good. Okay, things are relatively good. All right, because it's, like, you know, I don't want to talk about it. I'll talk. I'll talk about it in the IRL section. You know, I don't want to get into the pl- politics right now. But it's like you know, oh man, wouldn't it be great if like something could get done but nothing got done? And it's like, yeah, wouldn't it be great? Mm. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so, it's, so it's like I really don't want to like you know. It's like it's like, and the other thing is like I blew through Mass Effect. It's like I didn't expect to like just. I mean, I guess like because like, cause, like yeah, it's it's been a while since I played it. I've not gone back and played it in like succession like in like one two three and just like blown through it i i was just playing it while it was like you know 
in continuity, like while it was out. So when three came out, I just imported my or when when two came out, I imported my character. When three came out, I imported my character. And then like you know, after I finished three, I never really. I mean, I did go back and make characters, but I didn't like. I think, with the exception of like a YouTube playthrough, I did maybe. I don't think I've made like maybe once. I don't think I've like pulled a character all the way from the beginning to the end, and like you know, in short in short amount of time. So I might have did like once, but it's like it's been such a long time. So it's just like I forgot like you know. How man, I just ah oh, that game's so good. Before we get to Mass Effect, let's continue Final Fantasy. So. The goal is to get to 60 with everybody, all the classes and jobs. And then um, I did start out as like the pugilist that, that went to Monk. But uh, I think, we could, think I'm going to stick with Machinists because they're just super easy. And they're ranged. And it's like, I've had so many instances with the Monk where I've been like, you know, fighting a, an enemy. Because you're like right up on them because you're not ranged. And it's like, <laughs> there's there's so many things that can like go wrong. And, you know, if you, if you yeah. If you're, if, sometimes it's like there's there's a lot happening on screen because I haven't like set up my UI and HUD to where it's like turning off effects and stuff. To where it's like I can't really tell, is the tank on this side or that side, and am I on the opposite side? And then it's like, oh, oops, yeah, I got hit by something, and it's just yeah. So it just feels more safe too. It's just the only thing that's like annoying me is like you know, it's like I kind of am like annoyed that it's like I went to this game, and I ended up using a character that uses a gun. <laughs> Just like Effing Destiny, it's just like, well, not just like, but you know, so I might as well, like, you know, whatever. Switch one game for another of like the same thing I'm doing, it's just like shooting stuff and leveling up and stuff. Um, but yeah, level 60, then back into the MSQ, and then, uh, because there's an armory boost, so like your highest level character, basically, if you're not at that level with another class or job, you get XP boost from that, but it's diminished. I believe at 70 so it's like you don't really get as much of a boost post 60 because like I said you get like that first thir that first 90 days boost to I know for sure seven, 60 I believe it's also 70 but like I don't know what it was raised to because I've been like seeing a lot of stuff online where it's like I guess they changed it so it's like now it boosts you to 70 but it's like not as much after 60 or something but you know whatever that's why I just want to get like one character the machine is to 80 and then I can know at least I've got the armory boost while I've got or while I'm trying to get the rest of these character or er, classes <laughs> and jobs boosted to, to cap and I'll be happy but um let's see what okay so I've been talking about Final Fantasy for almost 20 minutes here so sorry about that but that's it's really effing good it's like you know it's like the uh, scene in in uh Force Awakens when you know Han Solo's like everything <laughs> it's, it's all true the jedi the the empire all that crazy stuff they talk about it all happened but um yeah f and fall fantasy 14 man like <laughs> it, i mean i think i think there's like a, a lot of things here as far as like after playing so much destiny and just like having it not be good and like something that's like similar but like so much better it's apples and oranges though because it's not really the same thing. Like after playing this dude, it's like, it's like, dude, it's like, just it just destroys Destiny. Like it just, it just blows it away. And just like, I'm not gonna like say what I want to say because it's like it, it would be a bit weird and perturbed, disturbed. But like, dude, it's just like it's not even close. It's not even close. It's like it's such a, it's like it's such a, it's like I play it and I'm like, man, d d like I can see it's it's interesting. It's like on so many levels in my brain, I can see like what this Destiny is like trying to do and like wants to be, but it's like. It's like, come back in, like, maybe 10 years. <laughs> like, give him 10 more years. But it's like, right now, no way, man. Like, I'm so glad I'm, like, off, off that train. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, I, because, like, there's so much of, like, a stuff that they, like, want to try to do that they wish they could do in that game in Final Fantasy 14 that's, like, done so much better. Like, all the title stuff. Like, the t there's, like, titles in that game for, like, so much stuff. And it's, like, some of them are, like, you know, you don't just get titles. You get, like, actual gear. So it's, like, what the F, man? Like, oh, it's, 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 man. It's just, it's just like, yeah, after just, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what analogy to make, but it's just like, you know, maybe like, you know, you've, you've been, you've been, you've been living in Eastern Berlin <laughs> during the Cold War, and then you go to Western Berlin, and you're like, oh man, what have I been missing out on my entire life? And it's like, freedom, baby, yeah, it's great, but, um, that's the only thing I can think of, because it's just, it's just so, it's just going from, like, something that's, like, so 
Eh. Destiny to like, oh, Final Fantasy 14. I mean, that's your thing, though, is like, I'm a fan of the series, so it's like, there's so many callbacks and like references and things, and it's just, mwah, it's delicious. It is the effing best. Like, there's, there's like Magitech stuff from Final Fantasy 6 that's in there, because you have like a whole faction that's like an imperial force, so it's like, they use Magitech, and it's pretty cool that's like, it's not like the same Magitech, though. It doesn't use like the same harnessing the power of, you know, Eidolons and stuff. But it's in there. It's cool. Um, and then, like, when you get in the, the mount you get, I just have another side. I'll try to come back to it. But when you get the mount you get, it's a flipping Magitech thingy walker, like in the beginning of that game when you're walking through the snow. Mm. So good. Um, Final Fantasy 3. Oh my gosh. I love Final Fantasy 3. Like, and it has, like, an entire, like, raid series of like the crystal tower and you fight the dark cloud or the cloud of darkness i it was i, I loved it it was just like that ah oh. and then like the moment that the game that like i fell in love with it and it like hooked me was the first primal encounter because you fight ifrit and like it's um there's like different types of final fantasies right and so like you have like the summons eidolons um primals Eichelons, whatever you, whatever they call them, like in whatever version, and so like uh, <clears throat> this is this is one of the ones where we have to like fight them, and so like the first fight was so dope, and I was like that was cool, that was effing that that was effing rad, and it just it just hooked me, and I was like ooh I'm I'm in because it's like I'm kind of like I'm like wanting to see like what other summons are in this game or like you know what other some what other summons do you fight, and then lo and behold. <laughs> I was in Gridania doing something, and then, like, someone, like, shouted out in the chat channel that there's, like, Odin up, and, like, I didn't get there in time to fight it, though. It, they, like, had killed it before I got there, and I was bummed out, so, like, apparently there's, like, world bosses, because I looked it up online, and, like, some of them are summons, and it's, like, dude, cannot effing wait. I'm kind of annoyed, though, because, um, this one time, I was in Dra the Corythus area, the dragon head area, and like there was the beh the um behemoth world boss, but I was fighting another fate that was pretty intense as well. And I could not get to it before they killed it, so I'm bummed out I missed out on two of those. And I still have yet to see one and fight one, so I did I did actually fight but I like came in towards the end of like a special world boss, but it wasn't a summon, so it's like ah or a um, primal, because they called them primals in 14, so, still waiting for that to happen. Dude, I just realized something. I could, like, talk about Final Fantasy 14 and just, like, just Final Fantasy 14, because, like, I didn't even talk about, I didn't even talk about Triple Triad and Gold Saucer, and then it's, it's so good. It's so effing good. That's your thing. It's, like, Gold Saucer is in the game. It's Gold Saucer music. Triple Triad's there. It's the same, because, or close to F enough, because it's not the same cards, but it's the same system. It's got same plus... Oh, that's a very cool thing. They added stuff. So it's like, you know, it's the same mechanics, right? So you've got like the cards with like the four sides and then the values, but then they added different rule types. So it's like, you're not just like same and plus and whatever. There's like reverse, there's chaos, there's ace down, roulette. There's, there's like so many different rule, rule sets that they added. So it's like, that's cool. They basically like took what they had, kept it, but then they added on top and it's just like, ah, and then it's like, it's cool because, um, in Gold Saucer, there's a card that's like a million of the of the currency, and it's a Cloud Strife card. So I'm basically, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to get it. So basically, I've been working my way up, slowly but surely. I've got like 250,000 MGP. I need a million. So I'm just like, you know, I'll, I'll get there eventually because it's a time thing. But uh, it's like, you know, one of, one of the far off goals in the game I am going to eventually get is Cloud Strife card. I watched a video yesterday on playing the uh, <laughs> the minion fight thing, the the you know the the verminion verminion vermilion or whatever, and it, yeah, apparently I mean I haven't actually played a round of it. I'm waiting to play it on stream for the first time. I did the tutorial so I can like you know know how to play it and everything, but uh, it's it's very MOBA esque or or RT, it's like an RTS slash MOBA. You have units. There's crystals. You got to kill the crystals to, to to win. It's a whole thing. Looking forward to it, but like apparently it's like an easy way to get MGP, and I'm like, yes. I just, I just, I need like the, you know, the more easy things to do <laughs> to get something easy, I'm happy. And it's actually funny because one of the um the minions, 
that's the other cool thing about this game is like the market board because <laughs> i went to like look and like see like one of the minions that i didn't have and i was like oh i can just get it from the market board i wonder how much it is it's like a quarter of a million it's like 125,000 gil and i was like dude i'm not paying that for some minion some mini game i mean i might eventually want to have like a lot more gil but i had already spent like um i spent a bunch of gil on something else that that day i don't remember what it was <laughs> i think it was another minion I think it was, but it wasn't like as much. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm not spending that much on two mi two minions today for, for like some mini game. So it's like, next time. I mean, that's I'm waiting to get to like one million so I can go back to doing crafting. But then I'm also waiting to get to the level sixty. I just realized something. I should make this like a part one and part two because this is just gonna be Final Fantasy fourteen, dude. Like, I mentioned some other stuff, but it's like it's like, dude, it's just it's just gushing over Final Fantasy fourteen at this at this point. Um, I could talk about it forever. Cause it's so good. It's so amazing. Just like. Because, like, it's so cool when you do... Because, okay. So I'm sorry. We're just in Final Fantasy land for the rest of this vlog. I'm sorry. If that, that's just the way it's going to be. I'll come back to, like, the rest of the stuff in part two. So, let me sit back and relax. <laughs> <laughs> so, in, um... Like, while you're playing, right? And you're, like, leveling up your classes and jobs. I believe you get to level 30. Yes. To level 30. But then you don't unlock the next, like, actual guild quest... Because each each class and job has a guild, right? And so, when you get the thirty, you're done with your base class, whatever, and you start like in thirty five, you start your um specialization of like the the class type. So it's like you know you're like basically pugilist to thirty, you get to monk at thirty, but you don't get your ne your next guild mission until thirty five. And so like from thirty five on, you base it's like well even from like one to thirty though. You have these self-contained storylines of like each class job type, and it's just they're so good. And then like from thirty-five on, it's also, it's the same thing. But like you're getting all your skills and abilities. But every time you get like a mission from those, it's so good because like it's it's basically, you know, it's it's like every every one is like a tutorial of like you know, here's your new here's your new toy and how to use it, of like your abilities and stuff. And it's such a good way to like, there's just such good onboarding in this game. And it's like it's like the onboarding of like you know how to play class. Well, here's what this does. Here's what you do in this situation. It's like it's just it's just amazing. Like the tutorial itself of like each thing. Let me see if I can find the name of it because I know if I got a share button of it somewhere. Um, the training batteries. Yes, those are like the best tutorials I've ever seen in my life. Like I didn't like I've never played. In MMO like as hardcore as I'm playing this one and like I I'm only like very like I like only know like the like the terms and phrases and like the terminology like I don't actually know what <laughs> what goes down in them because I've never played one right and so like to just go through these and it's just such a hand holding of like here is your role in this encounter this is what you do do this do not f up and you will be victorious and it's just like it's that, but then, like, every encounter in the game is just so, like, it's just, I don't know, it's, like, it's just so, like, when I think about it, it's, like, how you have to, like, take that basic thing and have it, like, in every instance, in every encounter, and it's, like, you know, you know, the tank tanks, the healer heals them, DPS attacks, but then, like, you know, the healer also has to, like, keep up everybody else, which is why I don't like playing healer. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, the tank tanks... And gets the aggro. And, like, you know, the enemy has the focus on them. And then, you know, while that's happening, all the, DP all the DPS attacks, because they're not, you know, they're not aggroed, so they're, they're free to attack. But they just have to dodge the AoEs and, like, don't get hit by attacks. And the healer kills, kills everybody. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, that's basically the, the basic mechanic of, like, every encounter. I mean, the very basic, because some of them have, like, more more mechanics going on that are more advanced you know it's like there's this one marlboro fight well a couple marlboro fights in the specific dungeon <clears throat> where you get a debuff on you and it's like if you if you let your debuff go up you die so you have to like run around the map or not run around but like there are these little thingies up that nodes that you can interact with to uh, heal yourself with the, to get the debuff off and not die and there, there's like another dungeon where there's like panels on the floor and you have to like kill the the uh, specific enemies so that they die on the panels to open the, the door to get you to the next section. But like you know, at the very basic level, it's just like it works. 
him. But then it's like the game is so good because it just keeps it like stacks things on top of it to make it like even better for like the more advanced stuff. Like in the raids, that it, it which is it blows my mind that it like it like story. <laughs> It puts like a wall on story progress where you have to play through like raid sections, which is like what the Crystal Tower series is. But then like in those sections, it's like those raids, it's like I I mean I looked up the guides obviously, like after the fact. I tried I tried to play through it because I was like, dude, what did what was this like like back in the day? Like was it super hard? And like it's just man. <laughs> but like but that's the other thing, is like because it's not like Destiny, you can punch down so hard. And, like, if you're over-leveled, you're not going to get penalized or, like, you know, not have any type of damage output, you know, bonus, which is um, so nice. I love it. <laughs> it's, like, I, the more I play this, the, the like, more I'm just, like, dude, I'm, I'm never touching Destiny again. But, like, um, but like that happens. So, it's, like, you know, you're getting extra damage from people in there that are, like, higher level than you. So, it's, like, it, you get that. But then, like, but then there's, like, there's, like, so much damage. So, it's, like, you don't really have to worry about the mechanics. But then, like... The, the, situation, the situation where you do, it's like, you know, after you've like, seen them enough, it's like, okay, like in Cloud of Darkness, like that one, because that, that's got, there's, that's the other thing. It's like, it's kind of cool because there are, inst there's still with like instant wipe and tank busting mechanics. So it's like, you know, um, <laughs> so you've got like, you know, the, the plates that you stand on as like the, um, in that one situation when the ancient flare comes up, but then it's cool because like you've got your alliance letter. So it's like your A, B or C team and then it's cool though because i looked up like i looked up one guide and like the community is like so good that they've basically like <laughs> it's like it's funny because like i think about it and like i didn't know what i was doing like the first time i played it and i was like i have no idea what i'm doing i'm just whatever running around and i still got through it because i got carried so hard but like after <laughs> after watching like one video i'm just like duh i can't believe i didn't think of that but like you know you get abc and basically like, from, from left to right is like where you go with your with your alliance squad so it's like because in those i believe it's how big how big are the alliance raids are they like 12 no 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 i want to say they're they're like it's got to be it's like 12 to 36 people but like they're split but they're split across oh, 24 24 24 so there's 24 people right on a, on a raid team but it's, it's three groups of eight called alliances so you've got abc and like but from like left to right, it's it's always like A goes left, B goes middle, C goes right. But then like you know, the thing I just said about like you know you've got the D the tank, and the DPS and the healer like, you you just clear rooms like that. But then each room or instance or encounter or section is gonna have like different mechanics. So it's like they're not all just like you know have the tank tank, DPS attack healer heal, and like just get through it. It's there's like sometimes it's more involved. So it's it's so good and then there's like the trials which are like the um the like more intense i'll say <laughs> encounters but it's it's kind of cool actually because like in the tutorial it even tells you you know actually i don't think it does it doesn't actually it just tells you how to survive but after playing through enough <laughs> of the game like you know that when you're fighting something that's got like a lot of health at some point the ads come in and you have to just like kill ads and like or just deal with like whatever the mechanic is and it's just like it's cool because like you know the community is like so friendly that you could just be like okay i've never played this before or like this is my first time playing this and like people will like take a minute before each section to be like all right here's what's going to happen because i was on um some dungeon yesterday where we were in this in this like giant beehive thing fighting like giant bees it was weird um <laughs> And so, like, every, like I like at the beginning, I put, I've never played this before, because, like, well, most of it I haven't, because it's my first time playing the effing game. So it's like, you know, I, I, put, I do it every time, because I know I'm going to need help. And then, like, you know, they just explain, you know, we just, we just you know, damage, damage the boss, ads come out, we kill the ads, and go back to doing damage. It's like, okay, cool. That's the other cool thing, is, like, I, I know what ads are from my time with Destiny, but it's like, I did not know that was, like, a universal thing, as far as, like, calling you know, groups of enemies that attack you while you're doing something adds. <laughs> so it's like, I thought that, I thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, <sighs> I'm trying to think, like, I don't want to, like, I'm probably going to, like, forget stuff because it's, like, whatever. I've, I've played this for, like, almost 500 hours when I look at my time on my PS5. It's, like, I've logged, how long have I logged on this game? Profile games, 451 hours. So, yeah, 
a lot of time. I'm not even into... I mean... Yeah, it's like, I'm not even into uh, Stormblood. I'm still in Heaven's Dawn content, I believe. But I'm... I I mean, it's like, I could be there if I wanted to, so it's whatever. Like I said, I'm focused on leveling up right now, so whatever. But man. Final Fantasy XIV, I'm very much enjoying this game. I'm glad I picked it up. Or I'm glad... I mean, it's really it's really funny. It's like, it's so like happenstance... Ser 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 surreptitious serendipity of like what happened you know it's like there was like a free open beta on ps5 i had already gotten the uh starter edition for free on ps4 but I never played it and i was like okay well it's on ps5 whatever it's cool like you know i'll, I'll check it out and like the fast loading and everything right so it's like <laughs> i'm i'm glad i like finally did play it and then like on top of finally playing it i get all like the benefits of like super fast loading when you're teleporting so it's like I never had to like deal with any of like the like slow issues it had before. Cause apparently, if it was slow, because I've never had any slow like it's been lightning fast eight. That's the other thing. It's like I don't have to worry about any of that crap because I'm on PS5 and it's super fast all the time. So awesome. Um, all right, I'm gonna call this part one. I'm at like over 30 minutes of talking about Final Fantasy 14. Um, but dude, it's it's like you know, if you're if <laughs> I don't want to like you know recommend this and have it destroy someone's life but like <laughs> if you're into it man check it out because i believe it's on sale for the complete edition new expansion comes out in november um so there's like a 30-day free trial so it's like you know if you're if you're into the series just check it out and i didn't even talk about the gathering classes because ah it's it's so good it's so good like you, like yeah besides the combat stuff with like the disciples of war and magic you've got the gathering classes and uh, the crafting classes. There's three gathering, so it's like mining, botanist, fishing, uh, and then all the other crafting classes just make stuff, which is, oh, it's amazing. It's like, oh, I love this game. It's like, so basic. I mean, I don't know if you can make anything in the game. You probably can't. You can make like most of it though, like the majority of the stuff. So it's like, but you need to like have your crafting classes be high enough to do that. It's re it's really cool though, cause like what as I was, they have the guild missions too. So you're playing through like a, a quest for that specific um, discipline. So it was cool, like playing through. I believe it was like carpentry, or leather worker, or blacksmith. It, I'll say blacksmith because they make weapons, dude. So it's like you're playing through, right? And like the the trash tier, like level one to ten <laughs> stuff is like all bronze. But then like as you level that class up, you can make better stuff. And it's like, wait. I can make my own weapons, and they're even better than like what I can get off drops. Possible. I mean, if it's leveled up enough, though. Cause by that, but the but the like the drawback of like the the crafting and the um gathering, it kills your inventory, dude. So I like ran out of the inventory space, and I had to like manage it, and it's like it was like a whole thing. I had to like triage my inventory, but I, I finally did it. <laughs> I finally did it, and I got all my crafters up to like, at least thirty. I haven't checked them in a while, but. Yeah, I I think I should. I mean, I'm gonna go back to them for sure after I do all my my other stuff to sixty because you level up pretty fast on that stuff. You get you can get like super super duper bonuses on their XP, so I'm not even worried about it. But it kills your inventory, so I'm just like, I'll get my gathers up first. I've already got my plan. It's like gathers first, <laughs> so that way I can just go get whatever I need to make the stuff, and then but then it's like I'm gonna run out of space. That's the problem. Is like. But then you can just like sell it on the I can just sell it on the item board and then like hope it sells. But like yeah, F and gatherers and then get them like max level. That way whatever I need for my crafting classes I can get. But uh definitely do only one crafting class at a time because I I tried doing them all at once and it just wrecked my inventory and I was like, Oh, I'm never doing this again because I was completely full all the time and it was not a fun time. But yeah. Um there's probably more there. Oh, I didn't even talk about the MSQ, dude. Okay, so main scenario quest. I, I, I don't. It's like, dude. See, it's like this is the problem with Jamie Tekken. Is like when I just talk about something that's like, oh, it's on my list thing, but then it's like I'm talking about it, and I'm like, well, I've got more to say, and it's like I didn't really have pre-scripted <laughs> like what I was gonna say about the thing, so it's just free flow mode. Nice jazz session about, oh, would you like to hear about Final Fantasy fourteen, our Lord and Savior? But um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Final Fantasy fourteen. I was about to say something. I, I lost my. Oh my gosh, I lost. I lost. I lost my train of thought. Hold up. What was I saying about? Oh, MSQ main scenario quest. So like even like the. Okay, and here's here's another thing that kills Destiny, dude. Is like 
just like the story is amazing it okay it starts out super slow though i gotta say like the first 20 levels is like very fetch quest heavy once you get to 30 and you get your mount and you get like your job specialization really good stuff but the first 20 levels are kind of slow and then also somewhere in there i believe like from between 20 and 30 on the like msq i i did the primal encounter which hooked me and i was like oh dude i gotta, I gotta keep playing i gotta see how this ends it's ah, i'm not gonna talk about like the story like what happens but like the just like the setup you know of like like how things went down in 1.0 and how it's like carried forward into the story and the narrative i thought that was amazing and it's like cool because you get like your own group of like jrpg uh bffs i didn't know that was going to be a thing and like it's it's pretty it's like a solid jrpg within like a game so it's like it's like a self-contained thing that is like happening with the scions that's like a whole storyline that like goes through the game but then, like, while you're doing that, you can just go do whatever. Like, when you're not doing story stuff, you can just, like, okay, like, I want to level this, or I want to go work on this thing, or I want to go to gold. So it's, like, it's, uh, ah. It's, like, I, it's, like, the M M M M O the massive, it, like, really shows here. Because it's, like, every area is, like, multiple areas. I mean, it, it was, like, a, a weird thing to get, get used to at first, since I played a lot of open world games. And they don't have like you know loading screens in between them, but then like I play through so many zones <laughs> to be like there's so much content in this game. <laughs> it's like you know you're in Danilin and like the desert is just like so many screens. Uh, Gridania, the the shroud, is hum is just humongous as well, or just like yeah, just like it does, it does a good job of like that that like uh the illusion it gives off like you know creating the illusion of like you're in like a massive world it's just i believe it because it's just it's so big like Aeorzea is just like massive because like I've, there's like the three starting cities right or regions but like those are like interconnected so you can go from like one to all of them just walking which takes a long time so you wouldn't do that but like just if you do it you're just like dude this is so this is such a massive game and like you look around at the scenery it's beautiful as well but yeah you've got um Ulda, or Uldan, whatever. I always say it wrong, which is funny because it's my starting area. <laughs> um, in the desert. And then you've got Gridania, the forest, Shroud. Also, it reminds me of, it reminds me of Lord of the Rings every time I go there because it's got, like, very, uh, similar... <laughs> it's got, it's got, it very much has, like, the... I'm, I'm not going to say the Middle Earth vibe, but just, like, the... I don't remember what it was called. Um, wherever the elves live that place in in the lord of the rings with like you know oh we're in trees and trees with doors and yeah <laughs> the fancy shire yes um and then uh you've got limsa Mensa. i think limsa Mensa is my favorite even though i didn't start there because every time i go there i'm just like dude this this place looks, looks uh, ugh, can't talk this place looks awesome it's got like castles it's on the ocean ah it's so cool it's got a bunch of boats because it's in the ocean and it's just like a very like coastal like castle looking place that's pretty effing awesome um and then because i'm i haven't gotten to the expansion that's there's still like effing um Edelshire. um yeah that that's a place or not Edelshire. that's that's a, that's not that's not well on my brain there's like a ish ishgard ishgard thank you i was like dude there's another i word <laughs> The Ishgard is cool. It's like a frozen tundra, which is cool because it's like, you know, you have the, like, the frozen areas that connect to it that are, like, you know, very similar as far as uh, geography and all that stuff. But then uh, you get there and it's like just, it's, it, it's yeah, it's like you can tell that it's very desolated, desolated. It's <laughs> Or just, like, the vibe it puts off. Like, before you get there, they say all this stuff about it. it's very isolated. And there's a bunch of dragons running around. And you get there, it's very isolated, and there's a bunch of dragons running around. It's like, oh. oh. So it's like, you know, after after just seeing the starting areas, and then the Heaven's Word, or Heaven's Dawn, I keep forgetting what it's called. I, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the uh, the areas and the other expansions I haven't seen yet. So, especially Stormblood, because that's, like, uh, Far Eastern themed, I believe. So I'm very looking forward to that. Um, and then, oh, and then the coolest thing is, like, at the end of Heaven's Dawn, they tease the moon, which still, I guess, isn't in the game. I don't know, because I haven't gone through all the MSQ yet, but, like, the fact that that's, like, been teased, like, so far back 
and then you get to the end of dawn trailer and you're on the moon it's like dude they were like <laughs> they were they were teasing this way back when and they were working on it and like now they're finally delivering that's dude you never get that in destiny it's like or like you get you <laughs> you eventually get there but it's like there's don't even get me started dude it's not even it's not even close it's not even it's not even close not even in the same solar system it's not even close um but yeah Final Fantasy 14 such a good game I I I mean if it wasn't like prohibitively I wouldn't say prohibitively but it has like the subscription fee right so it's like that's another reason I wouldn't recommend it is like you know you have to pay on top of paying for it so but I'm just saying it's like do you really watch that much Netflix I'm just saying is it really worth it or like do you really buy you know um, the crap you don't need off Amazon is it really worth it just saying like just cancel your Prime and Netflix like I did and <laughs> give one as a 14. It's, it's much better. Uh, yeah. You'll be a much happier person, for sure. Um, Man. I totally droned on and on and on there. I'm looking through my media gallery on my PS5 real quick just to see if there's anything else. Oh, dude. Dude. Okay. <laughs> this is just going to... I'm just going to call this, like, Final Fantasy 14 Gush Fest. Because, like, I started it off as Shango Tekken, but then I started talking about Final Fantasy XIV, and then it's just, like, the memory is just flooded into my brain, and it's just, like, and it just, I gotta talk about it. But, like, so there's cutscenes, right, and, like, the story missions. And so, like, when you're playing them with other people, it has everybody's custom avatar. So, in that specific instance, or in, like, in, like, those specific scenarios, it feels like a Bioware game, because it's, like, you have your custom person that is like unique to you that you're playing through the story but they're always the singular focus but then it's cool because like you see everybody else's and it's like that's pretty cool because like in the premise of the game you're a warrior of light and so to like see every other like warrior of light around like with you as a squad when you're like doing stuff super awesome i was just like that was just i did not yeah <laughs> like when that happened i was like dude this is kind of like if they like ever made a Final Fantasy in the style of a Western RPG, kind of. Because cause there are, like, some dialogues where you get choices, but I don't believe it affects anything. It's just like a, you know, what do you think of this, good or bad? And it's like, oh, hmm. yeah. It's <laughs> or, like, you know, right answer, wrong answer. Oh, hmm. I mean, that being said, I was watching um, a YouTube video on one of the questions that, like, one of the NPCs asked you at the beginning and like you get a ring i guess you could like sell it on the, the market board but it's like you know there's it's not like anything drastic like oh this person's gonna die this person's gonna live you know or like it's gonna be like a a choice that has like such consequence and ramification that you're like <gasps> what do i do it, it's not like it's like none of the choices are earth world earth are like world ending life shattering life or death who lives who dies situations it's, it's not that type of thing but it's still there so that's that's nice and just like the cutscenes with all the other characters it's so good it's, ah. i finished i finished one of the encounters a couple of days ago and like the boss dies it was a trial so it's like i believe it was like eight people um yeah it's eight people and so like the boss died there's an explosion and like as the explosion goes off everybody goes into victory pose mode and then it's like the game like puts your character in the middle the way it frames the scene and then the fanfare plays and it's just like oh my gosh that was amazing that was just whew. it's like that is like that uniquely is like something that can only be done in that game to be like this is why it's so awesome and i was just like dude i'm i'm like <laughs> i mean i already got hooked like a month ago on effing ifrit but then after that i'm like dude moments like this is where i keep playing it's just it's so effing good and you just keep coming back to it. Um, uh, oh, I guess I'm looking through this thing. There was there was that more memorial for that uh, Berserk creator that was I did log in that day. That was very interesting because I was like I had never experienced anything like that ever in a game. So that was cool. So I was like, why are all these people standing here? And then I was like, I saw <laughs> I saw like some stuff online. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, that's pretty cool. Like you know, the community comes together to, like, do stuff like that. That's pretty awesome. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, there's a lot of Mass Effect in here, too. 
oh, I mean, I guess like just another thing. It's just like there's always something to do. It's like, but it's like it's like in multitudes. It's not just like oh, I can go level my character, play through the story. It's like, or it's like you know, it's like a tenfold. Like, what would you like to do today when you start the game? It's like, do I want to level up my character? Do I want to craft some stuff? Do I want to go, uh, like go fishing? Like, yeah, like all the crafting stuff. Like, it adds so much, man. Like, I did, I did not think that the crafting and the gathering would like, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was like, cause I'd never done this before. And then it's a, it's like such a complete, you know, palette cleanse and like different type of game that like play than like when you're killing stuff and leveling it just it's like i just it's like i did that after i got like i wasn't been level 20 right or 30 or something approaching 30 maybe with the other classes but like after i did that i was like dude this is like such a good palate cleanse of like if i ever get tired of just like leveling and grinding because that's what happened i did not i did not know about the squadron command stuff so i was just grinding faiths i was like dude let me just try let me just try crafting <laughs> then i got really into it because i was like man this is actually pretty cool that it like lets you do all the stuff. So, and all the stuff you can make. Ah, it's so good. It's so good. It's like, and and then like it kind of makes me sad because like, I have multiple friends playing and none of them are on the same server. So it's like I can't even meet up with my real my actual friends in the game. What the f? It's like ain't that a b? It's like you know whatever. I mean at least like on. Like, you know, luck of the draw, I picked the right effing server with, like, the preferred server XP boost. Because I didn't effing know. Like, I was, like, I looked up the thing online as far as, like, oh, <laughs> what server to <laughs> should play Final Fantasy XIV on? And it's, like, oh, Adamant Toys is pretty chill. And it's, like, oh. Actually, I think it was Data Center. So I think, like, as long as it was on Ether, it would have been fine. But then I'm not sure. But then it's whatever. I, I, just, I just happened to pick, like, the right one and, like, not the right, like, not get because yeah that's your thing if i would have picked like the wrong data center or server or whatever i wouldn't even have, i wouldn't have even had the like <laughs> road to 60 buff <laughs> and it wouldn't i would have been like leveling up even slower but then luckily i did so i'm super happy about that um but yeah man Final Fantasy 14 I, i'm enjoying this game thoroughly it's really funny because on my facebook memories today it popped up for like witcher 3 I played through that the first time last year, and just, like, it's it's my favorite. It's my favorite of, like, at least PS4 era, like, for sure. Just my current favorite of, like, all time right now. Just so effing good. So effing good. And then, like, I play this in the beta, and it's like, dude. Like, after playing this, it's like, I'm so glad I played it, because, like, the bar is so high that, like, all the trash that's, like, you know, Destiny wannabes... I could just like never play them ever again and be like, I'll play, I'll like, you know, I'll check it out when it's 20 bucks on sale. Like, I'm not gonna waste my time with like effing Outriders or effing, you know, thank goodness I'd never played Anthem. Um, Division, Division was like, okay, I, I bought it for 30 bucks, but it's like, you know, it's like a, it's like, yeah, it's like, ah, it's just, just the games are like so disposable and just like, you know, they're not like, I mean, I'd enjoy, I enjoyed my time with Division, but it's like, dude, it's like, it didn't hook me. Like, I haven't played it. It took, like, them p putting Resident Evil 2 stuff in it for me to play it, like, for, like, a first time in a year, you know? So, basically, all these, like, four-player <laughs> co-op, kind of like Diablo, but not like Diablo, because it's, like, yeah, it's got Diablo elements, but, yeah, it's just, yeah, I guess they're just, they're all just imitators, right? They're all just, like, imitators of, like, stuff that's better that they will never, ever be close to, so I'm glad I played this, and I can just be like, you know what, every time I see a game like that, I'm not touching it until it's on sale for 20 bucks, because F that crap. Or, like, I'm not wasting my time, because, man, I I barely ever play Destiny now, but it's, like, they finally, well, here's the thing, right, is, like, the XP thing, I saw an article where it's, like, they're not getting as much XP for, like, the seasonal challenges, so I'm, it's a possibility that I might not be able to level up as good as I was doing the last season. But it's, like, ultimately it doesn't matter, because my time with that game is ending, because I'm done in September, so it's whatever. Or I'm done whenever the flippin' Beyond Light stuff's over, because I'm not paying anymore for that game. So, actually, thinking about it now in my brain, I can just use that towards my Final Fantasy XIV up. So it's like, because I got the six month for like 70 or something, where it's like, it gives you a discount at six months. So I did that because I knew I'd be playing a lot, and I am a lot. So, definitely 
taking the money out of it on Disney and putting it into this picture. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it for all of his 14. It's great. I love it. It's so good, dude. I didn't, I didn't even talk about the mounts. I'm like looking through my screenshots and I've got mounts and it's like, man, that's another thing, dude. In Destiny you have sparrows, which are like, whatever. Ooh, it's a sparrow. But I think, I mean, the one thing that annoys me to no end is like, it is awesome when you finish the campaign and it's like your chocobo flies now. But then you get to effing um, Ishgard, right? And it's like, find the ether currents so you before your mount can fly. And it's like, what? All right, that's like, one gripe one super duper gripe i'm tr i think there's like another gripe i had i can't remember what it was because like buff asked me about this and i was like well that's the one thing it's like the ether currents there's probably some it's like dude it's like it's whatever it's like there's there's so few things i like dislike about this game there's like for the most part everything is like so amazing it's so awesome so it's just like oh it's so good but uh the ether, the ether current thing killed me because i was like i i really enjoyed flying around on my mount and then, like, I was playing the, oh, man, the Dragon Song arc. So good. I'm not even going to say anything because I don't want to ruin anything. But you get a mount from that. And I was like, yes. And it was awesome. But then I couldn't fly it in the other areas, which was a bummer. So that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, this is Dragon Taken Part 1, Final Fantasy 14. Dude, how awesome is it? It's so awesome. So... Let me come back to part two and actually talk about other not Final Fantasy fourteen stuff. Um, hopefully I won't slide into talking about it, because it, that does happen sometimes. I'll just be talking, and I'll be like, Final Fantasy fourteen, And then 50 minutes later, <laughs> 50 minutes later, I'm still talking about it. But yeah, um, there's going to be part one. I mean, it wasn't really... It was like Chang Wotaken in spirit. I did say some things about Chang Wotaken, so it's like I'll just keep it Chang Wotaken part one, but it's mostly a gush fest of Final Fantasy XIV. Whatever you made to the end, uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share it with your friends or not, that's cool too. And the links to all my social stuff is in the bottom. Uh, I haven't really been active on the Facebook group. I will be coming back soon. Probably, I mean, I mean, honestly, after I got sucked into this, it's like... I'm gonna have to come back after my my buff is off, dude. Like after my my like road to seventy or road to eighty or whatever. I think it's road to seventy, but like yeah. After after I'm done with that, <laughs> I gotta get all my leveling done, because it's like it's it's like something I have to be super focused on, because it's like otherwise, or I don't want to miss the window of like when I could have had all, all had all my characters up to max level, just by like you know leveling them. So I'm gonna be playing this for like a while. Uh, I will get back to other topics in the next part of the video. So, until you see me again, thanks for watching, and I'm now signing off. Check out Final Fantasy XIV because it gets my personal stamp of approval, and it's a fun time. <laughs>